Hello Gratefuls! Happy New Year! Welcome back sa Keith and Charlene TV. Maraming salamat sa lumipas na taon na nandyan kayo and nag-aaral tayo tungkol sa English. Well, for this year, I hope na mas marami pa tayo mga English lessons at career and educational videos na mapagsamahan. And syempre, simulan na natin sa ating lesson for this video about apostrophe. Mag-aaralan natin kung ano-ano ba ang gamit ng apostrophe para hindi ka na malito kung ang gagamitin by children's or children's. Well, if you want to know more, stay tuned! So basically, we are using apostrophe in three ways or three reasons. Number one, we use it to show possession. So, Instead of saying the closet of Jenna, we can say Jenna's closet. So nakikita ninyo na gumamit tayo ng apostrophe para ipakita na yung closet ay pag-aari ni Jenna. Second one, we use apostrophe to show contraction. So when we say contraction, ibig sabihin ay may inalis. Example, instead of saying do not step on the grass. Pwede naman natin sabihin na don't step on the grass. Kapareho din yan ng can't, hadn't, shouldn't, couldn't. So, makikita ninyo na merong apostrophe kasi tinanggal yung letter O. So, the second purpose of apostrophe is to show contraction. Ipinapakita ito na merong mga tinanggal na letters. Another example, instead of saying, it is my bag, pwede nating sabihin na, it's my bag. So, makikita ninyo na tinanggal yung letter I at pinalitan ng apostrophe kasi nga ang apostrophe ay nagpapakita na may something na inalis. And third one, we use apostrophe to show the plural form of single letters. For example, let's take a look at this sentence. How many P's are there in the word Philippines? There are three letter P's in the word Philippines. So, you will see, para maipakita na maraming letter P ang tinutukoy natin, di ba? How many P's? Ilang mga P ang nasa Philippines? Well, we use the letter P, apostrophe, and letter S. So, yan yung tatlong pinaggagamitan ng apostrophe. We have the possession, contraction, and pluralization of single letters. Now, doon tayo mag-focus sa una, yung nagpapakita ng possession or pag-aari. By the way, sa dulo nga pala ng video na ito ay may quiz na kahawig ng mga nakikita nating items sa mga entrance exam. So, just stay tuned. So, like I said, in this video, we will focus on the usage of apostrophe to show possession. Alright, first usage of apostrophe to show possession is it shows that a certain person or thing owns something. For example, the book of Dr. Jose Rizal. The bolo of Gat Andres Bonifacio. The carabao of the farmer. The sepak team of Armando. So, makikita natin na kung sinong may-ari nitong book, si Dr. Jose Rizal, di ba? Now, if we will use apostrophe to show the possession, then it will be Dr. Jose Rizal's book, Andres Bonifacio's bolo, the farmer's carabao and Armando's sepak team. So, makikita natin na sa pamamagitan na apostrophe and letter S na ipakita na sila yung may-ari ng mga bagay. At isa lang sila, isa lang si Dr. Rizal, isa lang yung farmer, isa lang si Armando, isa lang si Gat Andres Bonifacio. Second one, we use apostrophe only if the owner is plural. So, kanina, isa lang yung may-ari. Isa lang yung magsasaka na may-ari dun sa kalabaw. Kaya, ganito yon. The farmer's carabao. Now, kapag dalawa na yung magsasaka, yung apostrophe natin ay sa labas na. Magiging the farmer's carabao. Nasa dulo na yung apostrophe, nasa labas na nung ating word. Kasi nga, plural na. Ibig sabihin, dalawa na yung farmer's or higit pa na may-ari dun sa kalabaw. So, more example, the boy's bike, the girl's bags, 
the student's room. Makikita ninyo na nasa labas na yung apostrophe kasi nga plural na yung may-ari. Ibig sabihin nito sa the boys bikes ay marami na yung may-ari na mga batang lalaki. Now, pwede ninyong isipin na ay hindi nakahasya yung apostrophe sa loob kasi marami na silang may-ari kaya sa labas na yung apostrophe para mas madali ninyong matandaan. Now, let's take a look at this example. Is that your friend's bike? Ilan ang kaibigan na tinutukoy dito? Yan. The correct answer is only one. Isa lang yung kaibigan na tinutukoy dito kasi friend lang, di ba? And yung apostrophe and letter S, nagpapakita na yung friend ang may-ari nitong bike. Now, kapag tinignan natin itong pangungusap na to, is that your friend's bike? Nasa labas na ang ating apostrophe, ibig sabihin, dalawa o higit pa yung friends na tinutukoy dito. So, dalawa o higit pa yung may-ari nung bike. Alright, let's try this briefly. Sabihin mo lang kung ang may-ari nito ay one or two or more. Let's try the first one. Ladies choice. Ilan ang lady? The correct answer is only one kasi lady, isa lang siya and makikita mo na nasa loob ng word yung apostrophe and then dinugtungan ito ng letter S. Okay, next. Parents conference. Ilan na parents? The correct answer is two or more. Kasi makikita mo na nasa labas na yung apostrophe, hindi na kasha sa loob kasi marami na sila. So, malamang dalawa o higit pang parents ang involved dito sa conference na ito. Third, Tarshir's picture. Ilan ang Tarshir? Correct answer, only one. Kasi nasa loob yung apostrophe bago nagkaroon ng letter S. Next one, his uncle's house. Ilan ang uncle? Only one. Kasi nasa loob din yung apostrophe, ibig sabihin singular lang si uncle, isa lang siya. Now, kung may naitama ka dun sa mga natanong na ito, well, ibig sabihin may natutuhan ka. At kung gusto mo maging updated sa mga videos tulad nito, why not i-click mo yung subscribe button sa baba at click mo na din yung notification bell para updated ka. Alright, third one, we use apostrophe to show a joint and separate possession. So, tingnan natin to example na to. Anton and Mario's Calesa. So, Anton and Mario's Calesa. San lang ba merong apostrophe and S? Diba dito lang kay Mario? Ibig sabihin, silang dalawa ni Anton ang may-ari nung Calesa. Ibig sabihin din, isa lang ang Calesa na nandito. Anton and Mario's Calesa. Pero, kapag sinabi na Anton's and Mario's kalesas, ibig sabihin ay tig-isa sila ng pagmamayaring kalesa. May kalesa si Anton, may kalesa din si Mario kasi pareho silang merong apostrophe and letter S. Next example, Julio and Estella's Sarisari store. So, ilan ang Sarisari store na nandito? Isa lang. Ilan ang mayari? Dalawa. Share silang dalawa dun sa Sarisari store. Si Julio sa kasi Estela. Pero kapag naging Julio's and Estela's Sarisari stores, ibig sabihin, tig-isa ng Sarisari store si Julio sa kasi Estela. Kasi tig-isa sila ng apostrophe and letter S. And then, next one naman ito. Di ba nga ang apostrophe ay nagpapakita na pag-aari ng isang tao o ng isang bagay ang isa pang bagay. So, fourth one, we use apostrophe to show a possession of any name including names ending with letter S. So, paano mo na ito gagawin? Kung halimbawa si Charles ang may-ari ng bike. So, paano mo gagawin? Ganito ba? Charles's bike? o magiging Charles by sa labas lang yung apostrophe. Now, the correct answer is pareho silang tama. Pareho mong pwedeng gamitin yung mga yan at parehong tama yan. Pero, kung nagsusulat ka example ng essay, you need to stick to the uh, format that you chose. So, kung ano na pili mong gagamitin dito sa dalawa, dapat ganun na ang gagamitin mo sa buong paper na sinusulat mo. So, pwede ding James's bike or James bike, Charles's bag, Charles bag. Fifth one, we use apostrophe to show possession of the words that end with S, X, or Z. 
For example, di ba, dito class. Ilang klase yan? Isa lang. Singular. So, sabihin natin na ang class ay my project. The classes project. So, kahit na nagtatapos na sa letter S itong class na ito, dadagdagan natin ng apostrophe and letter S kasi isa lang yung tinutukoy na class. Next, boss. Paano kung may pag-aari yung boss? Malimbawa, yung house niya. Boss house or boss's house. So, pwede nating sabihin na my boss's house is gigantic. Tandaan, dahil isa lang ang boss mo, singular lang ito, kaya gagamit tayo ng apostrophe and letter S. Another example, the box's lid is made of paper. The box's lid is made of paper. So, gagamit pa rin ng apostrophe and letter S. More example, the stewardess's bag is made from inabel cloth from Ilocos. Stewardesses. Kasi isa lang ang stewardess and meron siyang pag-aari na bag. Stewardesses back. Okay, para dun sa mga nagtatanong, ang reference ito ay MLA, BBC, AP Style, uh, Chicago. So, yun po ang reference nito. And mm, there are a lot of rules, common rules about the usage of apostrophe, but let's leave it to the English majors. Hindi mo na kailangan yan masyado. If you know the five things that I discussed about apostrophe today, then you'll be good. Let's see if you learned something from today's video. It's quiz time! Number one. Which of the following shows the correct possessive form? Letter A, what are your children's names? Letter B, what are your children's names? Letter C, what are your children's names? So choose. The correct answer is letter A. Wag nga pala mahiyang mag-comment dyan sa baba kung anong score mo or comment mo na din yung sagot mo dyan. Number two, the women's bags are on the third floor. The women's bags are on the third floor. Letter B, the women bags are on the third floor. The women bags are on the third floor. Letter C, the women's bags are on the third floor. So which one is correct? The correct answer is letter C. Ayan. And fill in the blanks. Number three. The blank grades for the final exam ranged from 98 to 76. Letter A, students. B, students. C, students. The correct answer is letter C. Number four. Which of the following shows that Paula and Daniel shares a car. Letter A, Paula's and Daniel's. Letter B, Paula and Daniel's. Or letter C, Paula's and Daniel. The correct answer is letter B, Paula and Daniel's. It shows that they share the same car. Number five, the dog's cages must be checked into the airport. How many dogs are there? A1, B, more than one. The correct answer is letter B. There we go, Great Falls. Kung may naitama ka, it means natuto ka. And I will really appreciate if you will subscribe. Have a happy new year. Bye-bye. Get in shiny TV. Get in shiny.